But back to trading with CJ today, we're talking about one of the firm favorites on this channel, one of the first ever penny stocks that we started speaking around about end of December, early January time. We're talking about Galaxy Next Generation, ticker symbol GAXY, good old Gaxi. If you appreciate these updates, please go ahead and smash the like and subscribe to my channel as well. Join us on the Patreon. We put out exclusive videos, live streams, and I give you access to my buyers and sells as well. But nevertheless, let's get into this one. As you know, I'm not a financial advisor. Please always do your own research before investing. But we're talking about Gaxi. Galaxy Next Generation, this has been on an incredible run. If you want to know more about this company, I have done many, many videos on them, all of which are linked in the description below. This company is basically an interactive technology company, predominantly focusing on the school sector, okay? They're creating inter interactive technology for the schools. And we're giving you a little update since we last spoke about these. But if we look at the share price, you can see in the last month, it's been a bit choppy, okay? They did go up to about three cents per share, but they're currently trading for 0 0.019 at the time of recording. So from those uh, highs in April alone, we're down about 36%. But if we go on the sixth month graph right here, this is a quite a difference, okay? This was about seven cents per share. We're looking at our all-time highs, about seven cents. And since those highs, we're down a whopping 72%. That is absolutely insane. We've mentioned before, this one is restricted on trading 212, which is one of the most popular UK brokerages. And sorry, unfortunately, there is no change there. It is still very much restricted. It's gone a little bit quiet on that front. I know Galaxy Next Generation were fighting it. We saw Megan, uh, putting out lots of tweets about fighting this with lawyers, etc. It's gone a bit quiet. We don't know exactly what's going on, but as it stands, they are still restricted, so you can only sell or hold. What am I doing in my position? I am, of course, holding. A couple of little bits of updates since we last spoke about this. They've been putting out uh, bits of news here and there, but the first bit was this. Galaxy Next Generation receives additional order unit under a supply agreement from an OEM customer. Now, this was uh, following a purchase order from an OEM Plus customer to provide its innovative audio products and accessories for use in the K-12 mar education market. And this is uh, for a purchase order of up to 1,500 units. And this demonstrates strong relationship with the OEM customer and its continuance of supply agreement for over a year ago. So this is great. Another 1,500 units gone out to another customer. And the customer has ramped up its production needs by placing additional orders for their classroom audio solutions to meet the growing needs for their customers. And the CEO, Gary Lee Croy, he says, we continue to work very closely with this OEM customer in order to meet and exceed the end customer's needs and timing. We've invested a shortening lead times and obtaining components in much larger quantities in order to ramp up the build time and sell through time frame. Investing in our OEM division is part of our vast expansion plan. So this was very, very good. We know that this company, Galaxy, are smashing their numbers. Their last earnings were very good. We imagine these next earnings are going to be very good as well. We had a lot of orders in the previous earnings, okay? A lot of partnerships as well. The big one as well with the Australian partnership. Things are looking very, very promising. But at the moment, the stock price is not reflecting how good the company is doing in terms of the numbers we've been seeing putting out. We also had a little update just a couple of days ago. Uh, not much here, but still, nevertheless, more good news in the right direction. Galaxy Next Generation receives Catalog Bid Award from Richland County School District of Columbia, South Carolina. Now, this district has over 27,000 uh, student population and operates over 40 schools and centers. So, it's definitely a good partner to have there or a good contractor potentially have in the pipeline. And once again, Gary says, we are pleased to have been selected by this district as they look to upgrade their school learning technology products and communication platforms. This is yet again another example of school districts across the country having an increased budget due to federal stimulus programs. We spoke about it so many times, the government has been putting funding into these schools as one of the major catalysts for getting into Galaxy, okay? Because a lot of funding is going to these schools, not only as the COVID relief packages and obviously COVID shields, etc., but to improve and upgrade their technology which is what Galaxy Next Generation are doing. And Galaxy Next Generation have one of the best customer bases because once you buy from them, most of the time they are recurring customers. They come back and buy more products, which is an amazing business plan to have. So yeah, just a quick update today on Galaxy Next Generation. Like I say, I'm still holding my shares. We currently trade for 0 0.019, okay? So almost two cents per share. Incredibly, incredibly cheap with a market cap now as it stands of less than 50 million. I really do look forward to seeing those next earnings coming out, okay? I think they're gonna be very good. And yeah, I'm not sure it's gonna have a massive upside on the price, but right now for me, this is a hold or and a buy if you could. If I could buy into Galaxy, I probably myself 
would be adding a little bit here and there as well. Especially if you're in the red, I would happily be averaging down on this one. But like I say, trading 2 on 2 in the UK has this restricted, so we cannot currently buy it. But if you appreciate these updates, please go ahead and smash the like and subscribe to my channel as well. We're going to keep putting out these penny stock updates. I have a good few new penny stocks coming to the channel as well in the next few days. So stay tuned for all of that. Thanks for watching and until next time.